Hello everyone and welcome back to Parsec Games and today I'm going to show you how to use stereo sound in Scratch 3. So today we're going to try to make it so this bell which you can move around is going to be heard by this ear so to speak and then you'll have a stereo representation. So if the bell is on the right you'll hear it more on the right of your headphones and if it's on the left it's going to be more to the left. So first let's make it so the bell follows the mouse pointer okay so now it's gonna be following the mouse pointer and now I wanted to play this sound here forever and now we're gonna make it so the pan left right is going to be set to the current I'm still having problems with the fact that they moved around all the blocks so I need to find them set it to this divided by 2.4 because the area of the preview goes from minus 240 to plus 240 and I want it so that when it's right on the edge then you only hear it on the right earphone. So let's start the project. So that works, that works pretty well already and now we can also add the effect that it says the volume but instead of just the X position we're gonna use the absolute value of the X position which is always positive and set the volume to that. So as you can see it's already changing something but not the way we want it. Instead we need to add this as well which is 240 minus that. So now if that is 240 so it's right on the edge that's gonna be zero so it's just the volume is also zero and if uh, the absolute value of the X position is zero then it's going to be 240 divided by 2.4 is 100% so that works already so that's how you can do that and now for some reason Scratch is having a problem that it can't save the project okay well that's just a Scratch 3 for you just showing some bugs. Anyways, but um, the project works already, so that's how you can do the stereo sound. But anyways, that's how stereo sound works in Scratch 3.0. And uh, I hope this tutorial helped you. And if it did, please make sure to uh, put a thumbs up on the video. Also subscribe because I'm going to make more and more Scratch content now about all kinds of stuff, tutorials, what's new, news and that kind of stuff. And also, you can write a comment of a scratch project that you're gonna use this for or also like what uh, the idea you have what you're gonna use this for or just the link to the project now maybe have a look at it and maybe I'll comment even so make sure to comment like and subscribe